Here's the overall design. Uh, hot water will go on the top. As that water flows through the copper coil, this is where I'm hoping I'll get some cooling. The cooled water will collect in this vessel here. Measure temperatures at the top and the bottom to determine the amount of cooling accomplished by the radiator. The radiator design will be built out of a number of components. There will be a funnel with an attached flexible tube. You will have a choice of various copper designs. Each one will be 5 feet in length. There will be an additional flexible tube to put at the bottom of the copper and you'll need a valve to control the flow rate. There could be a valve like this which has a rotation to open and close or it could be a valve like this which is uh, called a Hoffman clamp where you screw down the knob here and the diameter here constricts. This flexible tubing has a quarter inch inner diameter. The copper tubing has a quarter inch outer diameter. So they'll fit together very nicely. But it may not be a watertight seal. So here I'm using a piece of copper wire like a twist tie and I can wrap it around and tighten so that that makes it more secure. The funnel has a diameter of 4 inches which is equivalent to 10 centimeters. This can hold 250 milliliters of liquid. Here's the funnel supported by a ring clamp and to make it more secure I'll add a second clamp that can grip the stem of the funnel. Here's a view of the securely clamped funnel. Here I'll choose this module and I'll connect it to the flexible tube at the bottom of the funnel. So once again that's a pretty good fit but it requires a twist tie to make it secure and you can see I've got my ring clamp here that's providing some support for this coil. Here's the bottom end of the copper coil with flexible tubing and a valve. Each end of that is twist tied. Controlling the flow rate will be an important variable. So I'm going to do some experiments with just cold water to see if I adjust this valve, uh, can I get a reasonable flow rate. On my last run I collected 70 milliliters in one minute so based on that I can decide whether that's a reasonable flow rate for my experiment. Here I've microwaved some water in my beaker. I'm at a temperature of 67.4 degrees C. I'm pouring my hot water in the funnel. I need to watch here and not pour too quickly. If I pour too quickly it's possible my funnel will overflow. The timer is running. If you're impatient, you can measure the temperature as it's coming out of the coil, out of the radiator. The clock says I'm halfway to my five minute time limit. About half the water is drained out of the funnel, so I think I'm on schedule. My five minute time limit has expired, and I'll measure my temperature here. And with that, I can calculate how many calories, how many joules, of heat I removed from the water using my radiator. A fan is part of your equipment so you can run this experiment with the fan going and see if that increases the efficiency of your radiator. It's important to have comparative data so with fan, without fan, that's comparative data. You can make conclusions that way. Another variable to compare is the different modular designs that are provided. A third variable is the use of the antifreeze mixture versus plain water in your radiator system. If you use the antifreeze mixture and it's dyed green, try to recycle that instead of throwing it down the drain. 
It can be used many, many times by many groups.